What's up guys, Seth here with the IMS Academy. Training video log, roll six of six, final roll of the day with my main man, Nighthawk. And that's what's up when your main man is trying to strangle you. <laughs> it's all good though, man. We brothers, we doing it, having a good time. Andrew lost that over under. And when you don't have the over under, you don't have control of the head and then you can't control the shoulders. And then it allows something like this. I'm starting to get a double wrist lock here to attack the Kimura. Get my legs free and side control. I switch to a single wrist lock and start going to north-south. Andrew's being disciplined with his left hand. You can see he's got that forearm in at my hips. And he's just waiting for me to make a move as I'm waiting for him. So it's a timing thing. And he's got a nice little bridge with his hips. So I got nothing with it. Andrew gave me squat. So I have to eject and bail on the single wrist lock there and have an Andrew in that position and see if I can attack something a little more substantial. Taking that knee and trying to press it down on his arm. Andrew's starting to squirm now. Take the back off of spider web control. And you're staying very small so I don't get my hooks in. You see how close and disciplined he's keeping his knees in there? He turns down, uses the Gramby to try to sweep. Woo! Had to use my head, a long post. He almost got me over. And as he did, I switched my hips, got right back behind him. Right back to riding. Follow the hips over as Andrew tried to do a, a little roll through here. And now I'm just putting the pressure off him. I'm taking that forearm and I'm checking his elbow down to the mat. See, my knees are up off the mat, driving on my toes. I'm putting a lot of pressure with this left shoulder into Andrew's head, turning him away. Looks like I'm looking to set up a clock choke here. See if I can get long grip and then get my right forearm across Andrew's neck. Here it goes, those elbows are starting to come together as I start turning north-south, complete the clock choke. Resume in with the Nighthawk backpack. Little leg wrestling going on. And fighting as well. I'm just going for that choke, but it's the wrong side. I prefer if he took the bottom arm and went for the choke and use a little bit of shifting here to try to turn me back up. Got the baseball grip. There it goes. Andrew's recovering. Might have to go out the opposite side now. There it is. Go out the back door. Andrew's looking to maybe catch a triangle or something. Uh, get my knees down. My feet underneath me, taking top position. Gonna pass this knee through. There's the knee ride right across the hips. And of course that head pressure that I always like putting on my guys. Looking for the Japanese necktie. Ooh, Andrew almost got that half guard sweep and then I eject. Got our torsos linear to each other. Got the mount. I've got a cross face on him. And I could tell that kind of affected Andrew a little bit. I think just the pressure of the cross face. Had to make sure he's all right. He's cool. He says, keep going. I'm good. Man, he's tough. Uh-oh. Looking for that arm triangle here. I've got this mount positioned. 
it's in. I'm mounted. I'm not off to the side. So Andrew's doing the, the escape of turning away from it. But this is just like getting the arm triangle on the guard. And now I'm staggered. So then I just figure four my arms, grab the bicep, extend the hips. He's in trouble here. And there's the tap. Last roll, IMS Academy. Thanks for watching, guys. And we are out.